just jewel in the air. That was going to try and force the challenge out from Gimmick, and he does so well. In that corner, it's difficult to make something, but they've managed to do it. Shot is skied. As so we do have a couple of players having a little wee rest here. We'll get ourselves continuing this game in just a moment. With all the pressure on, Johnny, that is... Yeah, great play by Squishy, and he's actually still going. That's the Gimmick, and that's the win! Just like that, Squishy takes the ball one end of the field to the other, and he finds Gimmick in the middle. It's one of the oldest partnerships, and they're looking like previous season versions of themselves with that kind of play. 25 seconds is all it took. Shogun, you're going to want to watch what's about to happen on Champions you're, Field. You're doing it. You're doing it. I am not lying to you. We are having a Don't fire that. burner sub in. We're having fire burner sub in for Cloud9. If, um, if I'm not mistaken, if I read correctly at the end of the last game, Torment did in fact disconnect right as Cloud9 scored the winning goal in game four. So he actually DC'd and the ball crossed the line and they won. Um, and he can't get back in. He can't get a solid connection today. So Fireburner is going to step in and show these boys how it's done. I mean, I I'm excited about this. This is one of the most legendary substitutions in the history of Rocket League. For Sonic, Squishy with an uncontested hit. The gimmick was saved by Dapper. It's Fireburner. He's denied. Still on the goal line. Fire! Oh! He puts it in! You could not write a better script, Shogun. He has done it. And Cloud9, they are still in the RLCS season. Well, the Sat BC player with an O to another, a Doomsday Dish to finish, uh, finish us off in this series. Cloud9, not only reverse sweep, but they do it with their sub and their cloak coach. Fireburner comes in and picks himself up an MVP medal. Be figuring out this defensive puzzle. Arsenal, unchallenged, goes straight for net, and he catches Rogue out. Look at the play off the ball though by Sipical. That is a brilliant touch. He popped the ball so far off the back wall that there's nobody on Rogue ready to attack it. And the placement was good. And we even saw Sipical landing on the goalkeeper on his exit from the play. Back into a good spot. And that's what that air dribble was attempting to do. Exactly what it achieved as well. But Arsenal's oh, already there. How quick are Space Station Gaming to getting to these loose balls? I don't know how Arsenal knew that the ball was going to be falling down into this position. It looked like an aerial 50-50 that could have gone anywhere, but he was just perfectly positioned and reacted immediately to the chance. XP off the backboard. Rogue got to go the entire length of the pitch reverse first. They've got to make sure they don't concede. Now got to keep it off the floor. Pronovi will try and do that, but it will roll to the floor. Space Station Gaming decimate Rogue. Some time for Flight to get to that challenge and now Rapid in front loses to Dapper. The shot in for Shock and he will find the tying goal. That's two for Shock in the series. Dapper's getting, he's been getting physical this whole season, really. He gets a nice win there and then challenges Seabass, a routine play for him as the passer to go for those demos. You know, it's one thing to be the, the guy who's always assisting. But it will be sent down to the corner. Well handled on defense. Oh, Dapper flips Dapper. by one and Dapper, the god oh, on the my. 1v1. Sonic's up. I mean, I'm getting, this is this is a nostalgic play for me because, you know, seeing Dapper hit him with the, with the jukes and the dribbles on the offensive side, that is what I love to see from him, Dapper. You know, he's previously been known as one of the best 1v1 players and he shows here why. But Seabass can't find the ball. This next clear will likely do it. Shock high up in the air. Sonics recover from their loss against Cloud9 with a 3-1 victory against Flight. That was a high ball for Miss, no good. Quick turnaround for Cloud9. There's a long pass to Gimmick, back over to Torment. He just oh. misses it, and tactical, whatever you want to call it, Cloud9 have a lead. I love this, Torment passes it over. He's trying to set up a strong shot. Gimmick dishes it back. Torment had 19 boosts. He had 19 boosts. And so that was the best thing that could have happened. Oh, good by Squishy. Very speedy to the ball, and he takes it away, and Squishy Muffins will score another, his second. Gimmick hitting this up to Squishy. Squishy, a beautiful touch. And then you can see how quickly he reacts. Almost instantaneously, Squishy going for that second effort. And it was enough. He couldn't get enough height on it. Overtime was a chance for momentum to reset for Ghost. But it looks like it's all Cloud9 sweeping Ghost out. Torment puts in the final goal for Cloud9. Cloud9 is back. It is official. Torment 
the overtime winner. And you know, Fireburner gets an overtime winner. Torment gets an overtime winner. The Cloud9 get, had four you fantastic get. players play this week. So nearly finds the shot and AJ's got the save to get it away. We've had fireworks on both ends so far. Yeah, definitely a quick start. Not done hey. yet. Reddles will turn in the first one. And there you go. He said he's a big difference maker and he scores the goal. Finds the double tap off the pass. Knights looking hot. They started with that first offensive drive. We're able to hold off Hawksers zero degree shot and then immediately fly back 30 seconds into the game. We've already got our first goal. He's now out of boost in the midfield. Ajax with a challenge. Now AJ onto the backboard. He'll have the second touch for free. <laughs> Tucks it in, gets it past the defenders, and the Knights have the lead. AJ, what a shot. Free sailing, rolled is. That was tough. And you know why it was tough? Because it was unsavable. Because AJ just drilled that to the back post. Oh, what a beautiful shot. We'll hold them in place, keep them trapped in their own back third. Nine seconds left. Ajax over the oh. top of one. Two defenders will have this clear, and they'll try to just slow it down. Out to Gyro. They beat one. No time left on the clock. Hoxer's got to do it all by himself here. Oh, and he loses control. Reddles over to the empty side, and that's Knights taking it in five. What a series. And the nightmare series for Garrett G continue with five seconds left. It's looking like game four is going to be G2's advantage as they look for the security. <laughs> Chicago pet taps it in. One second left. This game's over. Oh, Chicago. What a beautiful insurance goal. 30 boost, and he only needed about 15 to get all the way over to that one. Off the corner, j -Naps there. Just shot just bounces off oh, the corner. Now, now the counterattack oh from Justin. Gosh. It's all the way down. The howitzer's good, and with 33 seconds left, Energy's got the lead. He spawned in the perfect spot. He literally spawned, and the ball was like a perfect pass onto his nose. Oh, my lord. JNAP's back down. Turbo now with an extension to Justin. He'll look to pass it over the top of Rizzo. Goes for the bump there on it is. Chicago. Holy cow, he's back, folks. Justin, what an air carry. With space, short hop. Oh, Goodbye, oh, Chicago. Oh, oh we're back. Forcing it in. Oh, Justin's going to steal the goal. He actually blocks it. it uh, honestly, you know, burn the time <laughs> down. It's already over. NRG, what a play. What a finish. And what a conclusion to our North American League play here for this week. Oh, good job, Chicago. It doesn't matter, but good job. Good goal. Good job, Chicago is right. GG's given. Garrett G misses Justin out of position. But at the end of the day, who cares? NRG will win two straight to knock off G2. And now you got four teams at the top of North America at six and two. So let's take a, a second just to reminisce back on the day because there's something special that happened today and it ties in with our player of the day. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The beginning of the day, we oh, saw yeah. Cloud9 have to substitute in Fireburner. And of course, he is going to be our player of the day. This just made me so happy. As soon as Fireburner came in and then immediately became an impact player, he scored both of the goals in this game, came up with three big saves. Like, this guy was all over the pitch. The one thing that really just took me was how much Cloud9's rotations changed when Fireburner entered this rotation. Fireburner was covering aggressive gaps. He wasn't trying to, he, he wasn't trying to play super safe. This dude just was balling out. <laughs> Speaking of Twitter, let's, let's talk about some of your uh, some of your tweets before on Twitter, you said that G2 could be one of the best teams in the world right now. You guys have been having troubles with them in scrims. Now, obviously, you guys took the victory here. Do you think that they're still the best in North America, even though you guys got the win there, or are things starting to shift? Unfortunately, if my headset died and I cannot hear you. So it is very oh. unfortunate this. <laughs> um, I cannot do lip reading. So this is very awkward for me and probably for you okay. as well. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, if you can't get it ready, we're just we're just gonna say goodbye and say we this. love you. We love you. <laughs> Thanks for joining Turbo. <laughs> now we'll take a look at the standings. Uh, we have one more le week left for for North America, uh, and right now as you see it again, a space station and uh, the Sonics sitting at the top right now. Uh, this is probably way different than anybody would have predicted by the beginning of the season, Gibbs. Yeah, and the final week's going to be so crucial for a lot of these teams. Pittsburgh Knights and Cloud9, that they face off for a potential playoff spot. Rogue mm -hmm. and Flight, they match up 
to avoid 10th place. So some big games. And then, of course, all those top two matches where G2 plays two of those teams. It's anyone's game right now. There's a lot of spots uh, to be had. With the long season, we thought a lot of this stuff would be clinched up at this point, but it's coming down to the wire. We have one week left. And looking at the schedule, the order may change as well just to uh, make sure the most exciting matches happen. So just keep that in mind. But these matchups are actually going to happen. A lot of great matches. NRG versus Ghost Gaming. We get to see Space Station versus uh, G2. And of course, the Knights versus C9. Uh, honestly, all of these matches uh, are really high risk, high stake matches, even as especially for that lower end of the board, avoiding that auto relegation. And tomorrow, make sure you guys join in. As we take a look at our European schedule, six matches of European Rocket League. You do not want to miss it tomorrow. I, again, can't pick these out. Like everything's getting crazy right now, but Renault Vitality Mels, it's going to be a big one. A Veloce Dig is a match that you guys are not going to want to miss. But that's going to be it for today for our broadcast. Make sure you guys tune in again tomorrow. I'm your host, Alifex. We got to see some incredible things today. Fireburner hitting the match or hitting the field again. And of course, Turbo giving the most turbo interview who he ever possibly could. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, have a good one. Is Yukio in a position? The miss from Notch Tail. Here comes Yukio. He was so patient. And now Violent Panda, the pass across. Yeah. And Astro will <laughs> not miss that one. Dignitas score. Goes all the way back to that miss right there from Nacho Toe at the uh, start of the replay in Violent Panda. That's the right idea. Just go for the pass across. Nacho Toe close. They'll have an early goal endpoint now with a lead. They managed to tie it up in game number one, but never had the lead. What? And Astral says, I don't like your lead anyways. And there we go, tied up. Man, that speed. That was the quickest transition from the wall to the ceiling into a couple of touches that I've ever seen. So well done from Astral. Five seconds okay, remaining. Yeah. Can Relating Wave pick it up? Great touch. They've got a little bit of boost from the midfield. Relating Wave now onto the backboard. Which There's the shot. No! Oh, so, and it's wide. Not to tell. Can't keep it in the air. And Dignitas will take game four and the series. Yeah. I mean, reciprocity. They're dealing what they did last game. They're keeping possession. Solid passing around the ball. Mixing oh. it up a little bit. But how are you going to defend against Magnus, who's really feeling on fire right now? Look at that, just plays it off of his butt. Wow. And finds a what second a touch. touch to beat Chaussette. Well done to Magnus. Take it over the top of one. Fruity deflects, and now Chaussette in for the shot. Does he make it to the far post? Excellent placement. The accuracy is there this time, and Chaussette gets reciprocity on the board. Again, Remco, he, he kind of turned away there in the corner, you know, denying the fact that he wanted to go for a clear. Somebody had to challenge the ball in the air. Magnus, he had, a, he had an okay job getting the ball out. Keeps it high for a long time. Burns so much time off the clock. Remco setting up Magnus. There's the shot towards the back net, and Chaussette's got the clear. This one looks over. Metzenar is a rough situation. He's got it back over to the edge. Fruity tries to stop it. Remco may be in position, but no. Chaussette drops it down, and reciprocity win it in four. God, smell up. Back, oh, what a what catch a from Nolly back to Tho. And oh Nolly my. gets the demo, a team play. One, two, three. Singularity, a two goal lead. This little touch from Nolly. And then he finds the mid air demo. He times the jump to, to precisely kill him directly before he hits the ball. God, smell it clear. Nolly, free flipping into it, finding his way. Nolly, oh, the huge second singularity take end point out. Nolly, the freestyle dunk with the arrow. He gets to the left of the ball and reads the defender like a book, Jorby. You talked about opening it up and reading what's inside. He just saw a perfect play and he capitalized. Nolly coming in clutch again in singularity. Clutch it out. The mayhem. Flick up, but it's not high enough. Freaky has the save, but how long does oh, it matter? Byron <laughs> Panda, what a shot off the post. Calculated, spelled Violet Panda. Calculated, calculated, calculated. He flipped into it. He flipped <laughs> yes, into that it. is calculated. He found himself there <laughs> in that situation. To secure the boost and the ball potentially, but as soon as he turned off, Astro made a pay and he almost does it again. Violet Panda slips it in and take the toss. March right back into the lead. Disgusting from Astro. He goes upside down flips into it as well. You see a lot of those ghost touches where people go upside down, they just wait for the ball. No, Astral flips into that, punish them. A big response from Dignitas. Now, as far as Dignitas go, when the going gets tough, Dignitas are titanium steel, and they win another 
game five. But also at times it can mean that, you know, the, the saves are going to put the ball into a position where Monaco can continue to play it as an extra will seal his hat trick and potentially seal game number two. <laughs> Just throw your toppers out onto the field extra, getting his third. And Monaco firmly in control. This is getting out of hand, especially when Barcelona. But extra comes in really late. One set up T Gray, but now over to Ronicky. Ronicky controls. Will he go the whole way? Oh, will he ever? <laughs> Flake starts this with a flick by one, then a win. Ronicky goes for the self pass double tap point blank. Ronicky, that is the best goal that I have seen today, Shogun. <laughs> Where you're, if you're Monaco, you're thinking the universe is against you. What do you have oh, to do? Oh, no! Flakes ends it. Flakes ends the series with this goal, getting Barca the reverse sweep. Words cannot what, describe. What can you even say? Oh my! They were literally no seconds away from salvaging a result here. And Monaco have been reverse swept to keep them at zero wins. Now has got K-Op in his sights. Chooses to go for the boost. Got options. He's got time. Speed is not oh. needed because Scrub Killer will rinse the entire defense. Okay, we wondered if Scrub was going to come out hot in game one. Well, there's your answer. He just picked up that ball in defense. Nips it past the first defender. So hard right now to get the amount of space required to really set up a proper play. It's more of a game of just making the most of what you have. And Fairy Peak has got exactly that. He has made the most of that opportunity. That is such a good passing play by Fairy and Alpha. You're not used to seeing one, two plays all the way up to ceiling height and back down to the ground like that. Now k -Dot offloads it to Alpha! Vitality will take it! The sensor ball from Kato found Alpha all alone in the middle. And although Scrub Killer kept out Fairy on the previous play, he couldn't keep out Alpha on that one. And it is going to have to be one game only for Mouse today. Vitality take three in a row. Well, we are getting near the end of the day, which means we have just a couple more things to get to. And one of those, of course, is player of the day. And I think, Gibbs, James, you guys probably saw this one coming, too. It had to be the mechanical powerhouse Astral. James, he is just consistently insane every time he touches his ball. Yeah, we knew that Astral was something special, even from last season, when he, he made his rookie debut instantly making a positive impact on Dignitas. Now we're here in the next season. He's mm -hmm. continuing to develop. He shows us that, it, you know, he's got a lot more room for growth and he has really become, in my opinion, the heart of this Dignitas team. And let's take a look at the standings as we have one week left in the European League play for RLCS Season 9. It's coming down to the wire right now. As Gibbs just mentioned, James, you know, we already have our top six clinched for playoffs here, but are there any surprises now with only one week left for you looking at this uh, leaderboard? Uh, I mean, in the big picture, not so much. I think this has kind of panned out how many would expect, but the one thing that was surprising was how Monaco lost their series today. They were so close to getting their first series win and it just blew up in their face the multiple mm -hmm. overtime losses the way they lost game five that was probably to me the most shocking experience that we had today well again as i just mentioned that's the end of uh, our day today so i'll let you two guys head off but i'm going to talk about next week let's take a look at our final week of european league play schedule we're again back to six matches a lot on the wire. We have our top six teams clinched for playoffs, but of course, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those spots, you know, those bottom teams still fighting for. As we mentioned, Monaco still looking for their first wing, uh, and uh, Singularity still fighting for uh, the seventh spot there. So it's going to be an exciting week of our Rocket League next week. You guys definitely want to tune in. North America and Europe go down for the final weeks. But anyways, that's it for me. We'll see you guys later. I think I need therapy. My fear gets the best of me I can't seem to understand